Hey, it's Cam. Hope you guys are doing great today, tonight, whenever the fuck you're watching this. I'm back. It's summer. I'm thriving. I'm tan. I'm, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> I'm gonna start uploading every Friday for the whole month of June, so I'm really excited to have like four videos this summer. That's eight. Um, I had one video planned to do this week. I really wanted to put it up as my first one for the, like, June or whatever, but people are fake. People are really fake, and it's really gonna be a fun video, but I just not, I'm not gonna be able to film it before Friday because it's already Wednesday. So I decided for my first video back, I was gonna film a story time, and it's literally a crazy ass story. Like, there's actually, like, so many parts to it. This isn't even like a recent thing really, but it's like a thing that I think about all the time. Like I joke around with my friends, I'm like I'm an actual psychic. Like I literally am a psychic. I have a lot of psychic coincidences. Um, a lot of weird shit was happening to me for a while. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So it kind of goes back to last summer, like the end of last summer. We were dabbling in the art of Ouija, me and my, my roommate. We got the Ouija board out one night. It was like a very like creepy night. Like it was, there was like storms and like shit like that. It was creepy. And I was like, let's be creepy. <laughs> like let's just do weird shit. So we got the Ouija board out. Um, not really like expecting anything from it. I mean, it's a Ouija board from like Amazon Prime. Like it's not that serious, you know? And nothing's happening, I mean. I wasn't expecting anything to happen, really, so we kind of, like, put the board away. This is, like, the actual board, like, we were actually doing it. Lights off, all that sh I was like, isn't there, like, a Ouija board app, like, on your phone? I was like, let's, like, try it. Like, I don't know what that, how that would even work, or if it would, but this isn't working, so let's try it on there. The app, it's called Ouija board app. <laughs> really, like, clever title. Basically, like, you talk to it, just like you would to the Ouija board, and it, like, spells out the word for it, but, like, instead of, like, moving. I mean, it moves, and then it, like, spells out the word. So it makes it kind of, like, ooh, what's that word? Eerie. It makes it eerie. That was so fucking ugly. All I said was, um, is there anyone in the room? And it was, like, yes. And it was, like, lit. And so I was, like, what is your name? And this is the second question, and I was fucked. It spelled out Opal. And I was so shook, so shook, because a year ago, a year before that, about to get a little deep here, but a year before that, like two summers ago, my grandma, she passed away in July. And we were doing this like in August. It was right after that too, right after her birthday. Her name, her name was Opal. Believe it or not, her name was Opal. When I tell you, bitch, that I was fucking shook, a bitch is fucking weave was snatched. I was so shook. I honestly like started crying. Like I kind of like have chills like saying it right now. Like I'm literally like can remember the moment. Like it was so creepy. No one has that name. Like what do you mean? Like no one is named Opal. Like I'm sorry my grandma was like 90. No one is named Opal anymore. The fact that a phone could just like identify, just like spit out that name. Like that's when I was like it's not automated. Like an automated one would be like Ashley or say some like basic act name. It wouldn't be like Opal. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Opal? So shook. And I was like, oh my god, like, I'm literally like, communicating with her. Like, I was legit talking to my grandma. Like, it's honestly fine. I was like, let me keep asking questions. So I was like, um, like, do you need to tell me something? Like, what, what are you here to tell me? And it was said, all it said was mommy. And I was like, daddy? No, I was like, okay, mommy. And like, it kind of creeped me out because like, okay, so it, like my grandma, that's my mom's mom. Like I'll call my mom mommy a lot. Like just for I'm like mommy. Like I like call my mom mommy. Like I mean a lot of people do that I guess. My grandma like definitely knew that. You know what I mean? And like I'm pretty sure that my mom like at one point probably called my grandma mommy. I mean that's a common theme in like America and the world to call your mom mommy. Me and I got really nervous, so I just like texted my mom. I was like, "Are you good?" There was I was like, "Oh my god!" Like is she trying to tell me something about my mom? It really left with me hard. Literally for the next three months I was a psychic. Like I had weird things happening to me. I had weird coincidences and it was so weird and I kept track of every weird moment on my phone and bitch you already know we about to go through those. Literally 
the night that that happened. So right after that, we, we decided it's a great idea to just go to the, some fucking creepy bridge where people have died, apparently. We're like fucking in the weird alternative emo-ass, scary-ass mood. So we're like, okay, let's just like drive in the rain and go to a bridge where everybody like fucking died. And on the way there, this is one of my psychic coincidences. So I get coincidences starting to happen. So, I mean, they're, I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably being fucking dramatic, but it's psychic coincidence. I'm psychic, just accept it. I don't even know what we were talking about or who we were talking about, but um, it was talking about like someone was moving here, like in the area, and, um, and we, I was like, I wonder, like, what apartments they're going to be living in. She was like, my friend was like, oh, like, it's these apartments. And I was like, oh, like, I've never, never heard of those. Um, never, I don't know where they are. And I, like, we're driving. And I'm like, I literally just, like, look to the right. And, like, it's dark outside, so, like, my headlights weren't hitting anything. And, like, literally right then, I was like, that's probably it right there. And literally right when I said that, like, my fucking headlights, like, shined on the apartment sign and it literally was that apartment that she was talking about. That fucked me up so much. I'm like, I'm so happy that I'm a psychic. <laughs> Crazy. Like, what are the odds that, like, I've never heard of this apartment, never seen it, no idea where it is, and I'm just like, that's it. And then, like, it shines on it and there it is. Like a fucking halo. The next day, I ended up calling my mom and telling her about- Actually, I went home the next day because I was going to go home anyway and I told her and I was like, told her about the whole Ouija board experience and told her how I think I communicated with my grandma and all of that and she was basically like that's so crazy like I was just on the phone like with your grandpa like you know uh, her husband well not my mom's husband but my grandma's husband randomly like asked about it's like we've never like directly like addressed like her passing you know what I mean like we know it happened but we don't really like talk about like oh, like, how is everything with that? You know what I mean? So she was like, it's really weird because, like, he ran, like, I was on the phone with him the other day and he just kind of randomly asked me, like, he asked something along the lines of, like, how was Cameron when, you know, she was passing? This was a year later. How was Cameron when she was passing? Like, how was he doing? I like, being open about, like, our relationship, like, me and my grandmas and, like, you know, wondering that, like, how I was dealing with the death of that. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. Like the fact that she, like he was asking about that and like literally two days later, like I decided to use a Ouija board and like she came through and talked to me. Like that's wild. Literally what are the odds? Like that doesn't happen. You know what I mean? That was like the first of the second coincidences. I've been having so many since then. So I was at work, <laughs> I'm like, all right. Buckle up, bitch. I still have more. I don't know, something. I was feeling, like, lucky. I don't know. Like, I was shooting, like, a basketball, and I made it, like, three in a row, and I was like, B bitch, this never fucking happens to me. Like, what am I, LeBron James? Like, LeBron James! I was like, okay, let me find out. Let me find out that I'm being lucky today. I was like, I feel really lucky. And, like, literally the whole day, I was like, I feel like everything's, like, <laughs> I'm such a lucky person. I'm like, I'm so lucky. Like, if I bought a scratch-off lottery ticket, I would scratch it off and I'm gonna win $20. Like for some reason that was like stuck in my brain. I was like, I'm gonna win $20 on a scratch off. I never fucking win on scratch off lottos. I get them every Christmas, never win. And I've never bought one before. So I kept saying that in my head. I was like, I'm gonna win $20, I'm gonna win $20. I literally went to the gas station right when I got off work. Literally bought like the cheapest one. It was like $2, scratch it off. Guess how much fucking money I won. When I tell you that I was, <laughs> I literally love being a psychic. I was just like, add it to the list. Like, I wasn't even surprised at this point. I was like, add it to the list. <laughs> so I was scrolling through Facebook. I just like scrolled through Facebook sometimes, you know, relatable things. I was looking at, I was looking at like this, you know, like news stories will pop up. So like this news story popped up and I was like, okay, like that's interesting. It was like, I don't even know. It was something about like, it was like a murder or something like you know, in the area. I don't remember the details of it, but I remember like I opened it and I kind of like was reading through it and I was like, I'm like someone died. And literally as I'm like going through it, like my, I was at my parents' house and the news was on, 
like in the background and I literally like as I'm scrolling through it like looking at this murder story I look up on the news and it's legit the same exact story that I'm reading on my phone and they're saying the literal same exact words that I'm reading like I'm not like verbatim like the same exact words like the title was the same like everything was the same I was like excuse me does this mean I'm gonna die like so one night I was in bed like all night on YouTube what's fucking new I was watching Tana Mojo her videos kind of like binging them and I was watching the one where she was talking about how she kept having um what are they called what are they called So she was talking about how she kept having like sleep paralysis um, where you kind of like wake up every night like in the middle at like a certain time and you just like wake up and I think it's like you're sleeping but like I don't know it's like when you wake up and you're not awake or you're not awake and you are awake I don't know one of those things she would wake up at 3 a.m. Like every every night and have like the same exact like dream or same thing kept happening But when she looked at the clock it was 3 a.m. And I guess like 3 a.m. is like the devil's hour or something. I don't know So like if you wake up at that time like weird shit happens like you're possessed or something. I don't know weird shit video And then I started watching like all these other videos of other people talking about it Like I was just, like very invested. It was probably almost 3 in the morning when I was watching it. So we love being like a fucking demon. So the next day, literally the next day, um, I was in the car with one of my friends and he, I didn't even talk about like how I had been watching that. Like I kind of forgot that I was even watching those the night before. And he randomly like started talking about how he's like tired. And I was like, oh, like what's up? Like, why are you tired? And he's like, well, I keep like for the past week, I've been like waking up at like 3 a.m. having like sleep paralysis and I'm like, <laughs> What are the odds that, like, someone that's, like, famous on YouTube, what are the odds that, like, I would watch that for, like, the whole night before, and then the next day one of my friends that's, like, a damn near nobody, T. <laughs> like, that's crazy, because, like, we've never talked about that before, and he's never brought that up before, so I'm like, this is crazy. This is wild. I love being a psychic. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like psychic coincidences happened to me so many times. Like, please tell me that I'm not crazy. Like, I would love to know that I'm not crazy. If you want to get more videos from me, um, keep watching. Because every Friday I plan to post one for the rest of June. Let me know what you want to see. Shit. Like, I don't know. I'll do anything. I'm, I'm chilling. <laughs>